in the middle of making all these presentations about fluid statics and the way in which pressure varies with depth that got me thinking about uh, submarines and whether or not many submarines have windows on them. Uh, I, I don't think most um, large submarines do, especially the ones that cruise at uh, great depths. Now there might be some small version submarines that are just used for recreational use or research submarines that um, that don't dive terribly deep. Um, so anyway, with just a little bit of research, I found out that during the Cold War between America and the Soviet Union, um, the Soviets had submarines that outclassed the Americans for a while. It was called the um, Akula-class submarine, and they were capable of diving to depths of over 2,000 feet. And at that time, um, the American submarines were referred to as the Los Angeles-class submarines that could only dive to 650 feet. But eventually, uh, the American submarines came up with the Seawolf-class that was capable of diving to depths that uh, equaled or exceeded what the Akula-class submarines could do. So let's just make a modest estimate here uh, based on the 650-foot depth or, or something that approximates that value. If you were going to design a window on the submarine, you better make sure that it's not too big so that its uh, radius is fairly small, and you'd also want to make sure that it was somewhat thick as well, right? So small, thick windows are going to have a better chance at withstanding those great pressures that come at extreme depth. So let's make an example and say we have a submarine um, that's at a depth of about 675 feet. Uh, that corresponds to about 206 meters in depth. Okay, well, we know that gauge pressure is just density times acceleration due to gravity times depth. So if we factor this all together, uh, keep in mind this would be seawater, so it's not 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. It's probably better to approximate it as 1,025 kilograms per cubic meter. We know the value of G. And so we're working with a depth of 206 meters. Hey, grab your calculators and double check my work. Um, I come up with 2.07 times 10 to the 6th pascals. Now, one atmosphere is the same as 1.013 times 10 to the 5th pascals. So this would be equivalent to an additional 20.4 atmospheres. I say additional because absolute pressure is atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. So at this depth, there's a force pushing, well there's pressure pushing at all points, and if pressure is force divided by area, then that implies force is pressure multiplied by area. So all this pressure pushing inward uh, results in a net amount of force pushing from the outside And then there's some force pushing from the inside. Why is there force from the inside? Well, I'm going to assume that the submarines are pressurized to simulate what it would feel like at sea level. So the pressure inside hopefully is equal to one atmosphere. So from the outside you have 20.4 plus 1 atmospheres, right? or 21.4 atmospheres. So what we're really interested in here is what's the net amount of force acting on this window. So we can take the pressure inside, subtract it from the pressure outside. Well, if we do that, then we're just right back to a difference of 20.4 atmospheres, which is 2.07 times 10 to the 6 pascals. So force is pressure times area. Let's make an assumed value here. And so you don't want to make these any bigger than maybe one foot or 12 inches in diameter. So we're talking about a radius of six inches. So 12 inches would be 0.305 uh, meters. So half of that, the radius, six inches, would be the same as 0.152 meters. 
If it's a circular window, then area is calculated as pi r squared. So this would uh, correspond to an area of 0. Point, grab your calculators and check. Use 0.153 meter. The formula area is pi r squared. You get the same thing as me, right? You get 0. 0.073 square meters. Okay, so this net amount of force is equal to the pressure on the outside minus the pressure on the inside multiplied by area. It's the net pressure times the area. And our net pressure is 2.07 times 10 to the 6th pascals, or in other words, newtons per square meter. And then these circular windows that we've um, imagined, we can say have an area of 0 0.073 square meters. So again, noticing that the units uh, cancel out properly, what do you get for this net force? Same as me. If we round off to three sig figs, it's about 151,000 newtons. Let's put that into perspective. W subscript B, uh, the weight of Professor Bry is equal to, well, my mass times acceleration due to gravity, which comes out to about, oh, roughly 750 newtons. So we're talking about a force that's about 2,000 times my weight. Take one of these 12 inch windows and start stacking a bunch of people on it. Figure not drawn to scale. You get what we're saying here? You could stack 2,000 people on it and that would create the same amount of force as you would get due to diving at a depth of 675 feet. And keeping in mind that the nuclear subs of the 1980s were able to dive to um, up to 2,000 feet, I'd have to imagine that there's no reasonable size of window you could properly put on a submarine that dives at that depth. It would have to be so small an area that you wouldn't really be able to see out of it. So, food for thought.